We're hoping to plant nearly two and a half thousand garlic cloves this year, and if all goes well, more next year. So it would be handy if we had a planter like this, but we don't. Perhaps I could make one, but it would take a long time to figure out exactly how, and we're almost out of time. So I'm not making one of those at all. Instead, I'm going to try to make a much simpler machine like this, which won't plant the garlic, but if it works, it should show us where to plant them. If I could make something similar, then it should save a lot of time at planting and make sure that they're properly spaced. The key to it working properly is the size of the drum. So I drew up the two sides on the computer. The bits sticking out will get bent over at right angles to take the longitudinal wooden bars. And if I make these sides the right size, then the bars should end up six inches apart. The spokes aren't strictly necessary, but they're fun to draw. And now it looks like a Christmas decoration, but a very big one. So here we are at the plasma cutter, running the drawing through another program that makes the code for the plasma cutter to follow. This is four millimeter steel, quite heavy. And it cut out perfectly. I love my plasma cutter. This video is speeded up quite a bit, but still it only took a few minutes per side. And all the cuts are clean and in the right place. I just hope I drew it correctly in the first place. These little slots are for making it easier to bend the metal. My plan is to weld them up again and make the corner more rigid if it's necessary. Then comes the center pipe. This will take the axle, which is just another pipe that slides inside it. The wooden bars are three by twos, what I could find around the place, with holes drilled in for the bolts. I drilled 48 holes, and then, <laughs> and then I drilled a few more, this time in the right place. The dibbers that's the spikes that poke into the ground, need to be about 40 millimeters wide for our garlic. In this picture, the spikes are made of steel, but making a cone shape without a specialist tool is tricky for me, so I'm trying something else. This is PVC waste water pipe, and it's about the right size, and I have some odd pieces around that I can use, but how to attach it to the timber? Hmm. I heated some up to make it malleable and pinched the end to make a sort of triangular cone shape and that worked except it was too hot <laughs> and very slow and it burnt my fingers. You need another glove for that don't you? <coughs> it's a bit stinky also and I have to wait for it to cool while my fingers cook. So I made a special thingy. Perhaps it's a triangular pipe bottom pigeon cone. Though you might think of a better name for it than that. And that worked well because the pipe, when it was soft, was pushed into the right shape as you pushed it down onto the metal thingy. And it was much faster.
my contraption needs 48 of these spikes and um, and bolting them on took a little while and in hindsight I should have used coach bolts and then I tried them out on the sand pit and I was relieved to see that it did seem to work but of course this is just on soft sand our stony hard soil will be much less easy to press into although in theory if the dipper drum weighs enough it will sink into any soil in practice if I make it too heavy we won't be able to move it at all and it might well just buckle under its own weight and keel over sideways I'm guessing some extra weight will be needed though so I made a frame that can be loaded with concrete blocks if needed and I'm putting a handle on it too Actually, the key to the success of this project will be the state of the soil that we'd be planting into. Hmm, not a lot we can do about that though, because we only have limited harrows. There's more finishing off to do with this, but um, I don't want to do that until I know that it works. And I can't wait to try it, but we have to wait now for Sandra and the harrow and a horse. And she's a little busy just now. These small farm tools are much more tricky than they look. Luckily, we don't have a huge patch to plant, and so I may be able to modify things if needed. Any thoughts? Will it work? Tune in next time.